Look, it is full of caterpillars. Like, and they're starting to eat the tree. Look. That's so, a cocoon. I've marked this with a red flag because these old dead trees are coming down today. Got a friend here with a tractor, but I think boys, what we'll do is I will cut it off and you take it straight to the chickens. That's like free protein. Yeah. Hold that for me. There's some over here too. Yeah, if I cut it there. There go caves. Does it get on there? Yeah. Yeah, don't. And take it straight to the chickens. I'll try and cut off. Um, let's see where the, cut it off where there's a nodule. Ugh. Man, there's just so many of them that I'm not sure. Maybe I'll cut it there. Wow. All right, Ty. What about that one over there? Oh, yep. We have to prune it back a little bit to save it. It might be worth it rather than. All right, you reckon you can take and give that to the chickens? Uh -huh. Good boy. Oops, I'm dropping that one. You got him? Yep. Good boy. Free protein. Good job, buddy. Welcome back to Nine Little Aussies. Today I'm out in the paddock beside the house and I came out to mark this tree. It's a little mulberry tree that I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping we can save it. It's next, not, it's pretty close to these two dead trees, um, but I'm marking it so that if it's possible, we can save it. But I just found it covered in those caterpillars. So, I've pruned it all off. Anyway, we shall see if that if that saves it or not. I don't know. There's some more there. Maybe I should prune that back further. And I don't know how I think pruning it at this time It'll set it back a little, but I think it'll be okay. Mulberries are pretty tough. Oh, look, there's another. All right, I might take a little bit more off. Did you just come to sit by me? Can you sit on top of my feet? You're such a faithful little puppy. Yes, you are. Molly Gill. Shaggy, shaggy Molly Gill. Just telling her, don't you touch my coffee. Or there would be trouble, by golly. Hello. Hello. Come on, girl. So these two big old dead oak trees there. And I am a little bit sorry because I've seen a, wood pe a woodpecker up there and I think he might, or they might have made a nest up in that tree. And I do love providing habitat for wildlife, but unfortunately they have got to go because those big trees have been dropping limbs. They narrowly avoided, um, I don't know if you can see, there's a big limb on the ground over there and which narrowly avoided our chickens the other day. And I, it's pretty close to the house. So I don't want it falling on children so unfortunately, we're gonna have to bring them down, woodpecker or no woodpecker. Lots going on today. We've got those trees coming down on the other side. There's two dead trees, can you see them over there in the background? 
um, coming down as well and one over here and now our, our friend is here with his tractor to help with that Doug who is the master of all things it seems there's nothing much he can't do actually <laughs> he's very very cluey and he's come to help bring those trees down definitely something outside our skill set a tree that big so I'm going to try and put more soil on this little bed but I've had little kids just wake up so I need to go in and do breakfast so I'll do that first so it is so muggy today it is not hot I think it's only like 72 which is probably like early 20s I reckon in Celsius it's not hot but it is so humid it just feels the whole everything in the air feels damp and I have to admit I'm not a great fan of humidity gone from hot muggy Queensland to hot muggy East Texas but it's not really hot it's just muggy that's okay there have been so many beautiful days here I'm not going to complain oh look at my eggplants they're coming along and the jalapenos judged it. It didn't. I tell you what, Mr. Doug knows what he's doing. Watch him pull out this tree root. Saved a few of those irises. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, plastic edging. They must have planted those. Yeah. From an old garden. Tractor. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the route I hit. Yeah. So yesterday we moved all these chookies into the front yard because we had to keep them out of the two side paddocks where they have been running um, to keep them safe from all these falling trees today. Expectantly waiting. I don't have anything for you. Sorry. So sorry. So while the boys do all of that, I'm going to keep working at shoveling some more of this. You've been picking dewberries. I just was out there for five minutes. I already got one. Sharing, sharing. Yes, 
Sharing, this sharing. This one is my mother. You didn't take a bit of that. Okay. Really good. Did you? I'm bringing down that big one because I chomp on dewberries, which is in a precarious position. I thought but it. I have great faith in Mr. Doug. He can handle it. One of the kids just noticed. One of the kids I noticed. Yes, Kebu noticed. The potatoes are flowering. These ones in the. Where are the potatoes? Where are the potato flowering? So I was able to save these little irises that were around one of the trees. Them out before he pulled the tree down. And I'm going to load and do some dirt here while they keep working. Goodness, look how much they have grown in one day. That's crazy. They are so big. These ones, I think that's the sweet Alice around the outside. The blue ones in the middle haven't come. What? Has that one got some? Oh, there's a little sprout trying to come up right there. I'd say just one little sprout trying to come up. What is this? Oh, just some tiny little. Oh, oh yeah, the one right there. Little itty bitties. Yeah, gentle. Yeah, so maybe. Wood. I had to run some errands in town, pick up my Azua order, but look how much clearing they got done while I was gone. This big old pile of trees. Imagine what you can do. Amazing what you can do with a tractor. And they move this junk out here that's for the metal recycling and moved all this and got that big tree. I was kind of sorry I wasn't here for that because that would have been fun to watch that come down. And they had to put chains on it and pull it away from the shed. But good old Mr. Doug managed to get it done without falling the tree on the shed. So that is awesome. All right, time to work. Okay, we have moved a bunch of soil out of those compost bays onto this bed. I don't know, I think we maybe should put a little bit more, but we've almost finished. We're all a little bit hot and sweaty, ready to go in for it. And it's starting to drizzle. This is where we um, came across a massive fire ant nest. And I've put diatomaceous earth down. Um, so we'll leave that. You can sort of see that half of the bay is done. We just got that little section. We emptied that one and we're just kind of sorting through and weeding as we go because it's pretty weedy. So we'll finish that. We we'll maybe go inside and let the shower pass. And yeah, then I think we're going to get another load this afternoon from the neighbor. So that's great. Keep coming. See this volcano in my garden? Probably 30 centimeters <laughs> or 12 inches. It is tall. It is exactly like a volcano. Okay, now to, to my fellow Texans, this is going to seem like, why are you even videoing this? But these things, look, here's another one. This mound. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at getting the angle right. There's another one. There's another one. There's a hole that was one. Another one, the kids have kicked that one over. Look, in the garden. 
there, yeah, this one's in the garden. And when we first moved here, oh look, the kids kicked this one over yesterday and they've built another one. And when, when we first moved here, we were like, what are they? Are they like moles, mole hills or are they, um, we had no idea what they are, but they are what are called crawdads, which is basically like a glorified yabby for the Aussies watching. It's like, they can get pretty big, but they're just, and the, the water table must be so high because you will drive it or drive anywhere around here and there's you see them everywhere they're just everywhere so they come up in the garden they're all through the lawn they're crawdads and you can go down town and there are people lined up in a car park lined up for ages to get crawdads for crawfish for dinner <laughs> Which I'm assuming is just like eating yabbies. I've eaten yabbies when I was a kid. Or um, what are they called? Red claw. Out at the dam at Claremont, we would eat red claw. But these ones, there's no body of water here. But the water table is so high that they don't need it. They just live in the ground. It's amazing. So what an epic day. We have had trees down and all piled up ready to burn and we have built garden beds and now we've just got another load of beautiful, beautiful, rich soil for our gardens. And oh, it's just been helter skelter all day. Go, go, go. So we're ready to go in and call it a day um, and we'll, we'll get back to it tomorrow. So thanks for being with us. Sunshine and raindrops to you, my friend. We'll see you tomorrow.